special guest uh, on the show today is Kerry Allen. Uh, Kerry's got a very interesting story. He runs uh, Dream World Auto, and he's doing a lot of speaking and marketing and motivational uh, work around the country. And Kerry, I want to welcome you to the Morning Brew. Thank you, Larry and Aaron. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. I mean, very you sound excited like, to be here. You sound like you have a lot of things going on. Yes. You're a really busy guy. Right. So tell us a little bit about your businesses you have. Okay. Well, uh, actually, the so one you have two of two businesses. I, two, right? Actually, I run a couple different businesses, but my companies are um, Dreamworld Enterprise, which is the one I'm very proud of. That's really the one that is my headquarter company, is Dreamworld Enterprise. And what that's going to be is eventually there's going to be many companies running off of that doing businesses as. Uh, when I started out, I bought up a bunch of the dot coms in the Dreamworld industry because of how I came up with the name Dreamworld, uh. which we'll get into. Um, and the other one is uh, Dreamworld Auto. Um, and we are opening up a dealership, being a partner of mine. And um, we just got, in fact, we're getting our license today. So we'll be officially grand opening here in about, about a week. Well, oh, good. Wow. So, yeah. So, um, well, um, fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. So let's, let's rewind a little bit and okay. go back in time. You had some real difficulties in your life. And in, in your 30s, you were almost dying. Is that right? Actually, yes. Oh my uh, yes. I, tell, I tell cheated us. death three times now. So, I mean, someone wants me to be here. <laughs> uh, well, and I'm glad. But um, actually, happened? well, February 27th, 2011. Um, prior to that, um, I would, you know, I, I wasn't taking care of myself, let's say. I, 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 I used to drink. Uh -huh. Okay, and um, you know, and I, um, I kind of, my mom passed in 2009 of uh, lung cancer at 59 oh. years old, my best friend, wonderful woman. And I kind of gave up on life a little bit, basically. Yeah. And I was, I was really not taking care of myself and uh, I was having liver failure, basically. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with that, that point in time, I didn't realize how bad it was. And one day I ended up, actually February 27, 2011, I ended up at the VA hospital dying. Uh, it was about a 10% chance of living. And um, I spent three weeks on life support. I was actually on life support for three weeks with a 10% chance to live. And you're what, 37 years old? I was 37 years old at the time. Well, yes, young so to be doing that. Yeah, I know, like I said. And I'm, I'm missing a spleen and a gallbladder anyway, so I'm half the man I used to be. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, so I, I spent two months in the hospital. And I remember there was this nurse there that was just amazing. Nurse, nurse Jody, I called her, because that's all I can remember her name by. Uh -huh. And she told me, you know, I'm one sick boy. You know, you're probably not going to make this. But if you do, don't ever pick up a drink again. You know, and then that day, and I've, since then, I had never touched a drink again. I gave up tobacco. I gave up everything bad in my life. I was 100 pounds overweight, on oxygen, wow. daily, not from yeah. the drinking. But um, I've actually, I, I got out of the hospital and got healthy, got off the oxygen and um, lost 100 pounds instantly, just wow. getting up and moving and stuff. Yeah, because I couldn't move much with the oxygen. And, um, and since from there, it's just been an amazing, amazing life I've had since then. It's been outstanding. Well, that's like a whole... That's a transformation. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Crazy. I, I I wish I could have had the pictures to show you what I look like. Then you wouldn't even recognize me. So you had yeah. a dream. Yes. And that's where this dream world enterprise comes from. Yes, absolutely. Fill us in on that. Okay. Yeah. This was kind of strange because uh, you know it, it's really funny because when I was a kid, I mean I don't know where where this came from, I and mean, it never even planned out, but. I, I dreamed I, I owned a dealership, a car dealership, and I was really happy and everything. You, and this was a young age. Uh-huh. So you dreamt it, this. Yeah, 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 it was a dream. But that never happened. It wasn't even leading that way. Right. You mm -hmm. know? And so when I was in the hospital on life support dying, I kept having these dreams. I don't know if they were dreams or visions or whatever you want to call them, but they were... I, there were dreams of cars, I mean, constant cars and uh -huh. Cobras and Mustangs and, you know, nice. and Shelby Cobra, you know, and all that. And um, it, was, it was just amazing. They seem so real. They don't even seem like dreams. Yeah. They seem like, more like a vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never sold cars in my life. And I didn't want to be a car salesman. That was not what I wanted to do. So, you know, I got out of the hospital. And these dreams stuck with me. They just did not go away. We have about a minute left. So 
this fast forward to today, you're okay. about to open an auto brokerage and dealership. Look at what's happened to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, um, you know, from that time on, um, we're opening up our, our, our dealership. It's not an uh, auto brokerage, uh -huh. but it's wholesale, wholesale retail. Yeah. Right. And then the Dreamworld Enterprise is where I do marketing and I help other companies market their, their businesses now. Since this whole time here, I have um, was able to really learn the whole aspect yeah. of marketing, basically. And so I'm moving, moving forward with that. And it's really going outstanding. You have a great story, Karen. <laughs>